Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to play around with this kit that I got from my husband for my birthday. So that is quite some time ago that I got it and I didn't get to do anything of it before now. But now we are going to try it out. This is a acrylic pour. So this box it says pouring experience. There is a lot of beautiful pictures of this uh, acrylic pour. It says it has 47 pieces in here. It's a complete kit. Um, I'm going to show you the back side in a picture right here. So that's what we get in the box. But let's uh, take the box here and open it up. Um, it's quite a big box so it's hard to have everything in the frame. But I am trying really hard here. So let's see, first of all I am going to pull out the canvases. There are four of them, four of them, and they are completely surrounded with this white um, fabric canvas thingy. And they feel quite sturdy, so I think they're okay. Let's see what's more in there. There we go. We have a little guide and how-to book here, booklet with pictures in and colors, really nice. And I'm going to look at that for a bit before we start. Then we have some acrylic colors, quite a lot of them. We have the silicone oil. We have different cups. Let's see if I can get them. Yeah, I can. This one is kind of stuck up here. Wow. There we go. Uh, so cups for the acrylic pours. We have pipettes or pipettes or what you call it. Some tools. And a scraper. So uh, here is the stir stick and the glitter. And uh, this piece here is the holding thing for the canvases to hold them up and of course the gloves and the tablecloth plastic piece um, anyway that's what you get I'm going to take a look in the booklet and then I will be back so I'm back and I did read a bit it doesn't say too much about it and I never tried this before so um, we're going to try this out together so first I'm going to take this uh, tablecloth and I'm going to fold it out. Oh, and it's even bigger than this, but I think this is big enough for me. I hope I have my uh, canvases right there. And let's open this one. There we go. Okay. Uh, they are wrapped together like this, and then it looks like they're all singly. They are wrapped again. That's a lot of wrapping. And I kind of don't like the feel of them, but I think the quality is quite good. But it is a big, thick um, piece of cardstock, I think, that have got the canvas all the way around. But I like that it is all wrapped, so we might avoid our wrapping of the done canvases. Okay, I'm going to place them to the side and onto the next part of this box. There is this one, and that is also really good wrapped. Let's get that out. More plastic. Put that to the side. And then I got these. Well, there's only three. Shouldn't there be four of these? Maybe not. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna place it like this. 
and here. Oh, my first bad things happening. So this just plainly broke. I don't know what material this is, but that did not take anything to break. And we're gonna use it anyway. So let's see, I have a canvas and let's place that right here. And I have a small water scale and it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna try to get this more into to the frame here, like that. So this uh, says that it is pretty level, what is really nice. Okay, now to the paint. I'm going to take a few cups here. I don't want uh, too many colors in my first project. There is a uh, Blanco, it's white. I have two whites, a yellow, a red, uh, a dark blue, a light blue, silver and gold in this box. So I am taking some of that and it's a uh, pre-mixed puring paint. So that's pretty neat. Um, and I need a stirring stick. There we go. Uh, let's see, let's take three of those. And this goes in the trash. I need, I want some glitter as well. I don't like gold, so don't let, let's not use that one. I never liked gold anyway. So I have opened the colors here that I want to use. So I have the two blues, I have the silver, and I have some white. And let's see, a pair of gloves here. Oh yeah, the, there is, uh, what, three, three pairs, I think. I'm gonna put the rest aside. Let's see if I can do what they did here. Like that. Perfect. And let's put them, them on for safety and for a, a little cleaner hands afterwards. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at this. I want some of this um, teal color. And I have absolutely no idea how much color we need. But I'm going to take some of each here and let's see the silver. Yeah, let's take some of the silver as well. There we go. And it says to stir it. I really don't know why, but maybe to get the pigments all nice and even. I think that could be the reason. There we go. And then they have this um, silicone oil. Again, I don't know how this is working, but it has this pipette in there. So that is really nice. And it says four drops. Four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Four to five drops in each color. So I just put five in there and I'm gonna stir it again just because I really don't know what's uh, going to happen with this. So I put these to the side. There we go. And I have already the glitter all over. So I'm going to take some of the white here and one of these sparkles thing 
and I'm just going to put it onto my canvas just as it is. Remember, I've never tried this before. Oh, this is not white. This is a uh, shiny thing. It's not a bright white. It looks, it looks kind of shiny. So I have it all over now. And let's take the dark blue here on this side. Got it all over on this side as well. And then I just saw this uh, technique the other day on YouTube where they took a cup with no bottom in and they placed it. And then they poured in their colors into that cup. So I'm just going to take the stick out of here. a little to the side and the silver one here there we go and then they just pour in the colors to the cup I do think I have more than enough colors in here for the whole canvas, but let's see. Again, I have never tried this before. I want some all normal white in there as well, so I'm trying to get that out from the box here. So this should be, be a normal white, not a shiny white, but let's try it. Just a tiny bit of that in there. There we go. And then you should take your cup and kind of lift it up while moving it over the canvas. Like that. How good that became, I don't know. But I do see some uh, nice pops in there. I like these. This one and there. I like that. And then I need to find my heat gun.
here is the end result of what I got done with this acrylic pour. I actually like these pictures. I think they came out really, really pretty. It was very easy uh, to figure out how to do this, but the uh, manual, the guide uh, in the set was quite bad. Didn't say much other than you have to put four or five drops of oil in each color of paint. So I'm happy that I did look on a few um, videos before I started this, but I like the end result. So the set itself that my husband gave me, it was a gift, so I don't know what uh, the price tag on it was, uh, but I think it wasn't that cheap. Um, but it was really worth the money. There was a lot of paint in there and there still is quite a lot of paint that I did not use. So did I like this uh, box, this kit? Yes, I do. Does it have everything you need to make these pictures in there? Yes, it does. Uh, is this uh, canvas really nice? No, it's not that good. You can see it is kind of warping even though that it's wrapped all the way around. Um, I have this one. This didn't warp for some reason. This is all straight and nice. But this one and this one did warp. This one warped a bit. Not too much, but it did warp. I don't know if you can see that. But it did warp. And this one did as well. This one is uh, just a tiny bit in two of the corners otherwise it's flat but just a little so uh, these canvases they are not the best um, but I really like uh, this acrylic pour it's very very beautiful anyway that is all for this time I hope you liked it thank you for watching and happy crafting